हेलो गाइस दिस इज अविनाश एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर डेंटल स्माइल चेंजेस द मोड सो गाइस इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू डेंटल एनाटॉमी एंड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डेफिनेशन देन वी विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द डेंटिशन दैट इज द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डेंटिशन आर प्रेजेंट देन वी विल रीड अबाउट टू अनाटोमिकल टर्म्स दैट इज द मैंडिबुलर एंड मैक्सिलरी then we will be reading about the dental formula what is dental formula and in primary dentition what is the dental formula and in the secondary dentition what is the dental formula so guys watch this video till last and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the notifications first let's start this video so first we will be knowing that what is dental anatomy so if you will see the definition of this dental anatomy then it is the study of the development means how a tooth is formed about the development of the tooth about the morphology of the tooth that what is the morphology of the tooth we will be seeing and what is the function of various types of tooth that are present in the human dentition then we will be seeing about the shape of the tooth that is what is the shape of each individual tooth which are present in the human dentition what is the color of the tooth what is the structure of the tooth we will also be seeing the structure of the tooth and also we will seeing the function of the tooth which is related to the other tooth that is present in the same arch and also related function with the other tooth which is present in the opposite arch means what is the function of a individual tooth related to the other tooth present in the mandibular region what is the function of the tooth related to the other tooth present in the maxillary region so we will be this, uh, this is the definition of the dental anatomy so it is the study of the development morphology function shape color structure function of other function related to the other tooth present in the same arch and function related to the other tooth present in the opposite arch so this is the definition of the dental anatomy now we will see the in formation of the dental anatomy dentition so if we will see the formation of dentition then there are three type of dentition first is the primary dentition so this is the primary dentition and the most important second type of dentition is the secondary dentition secondary dentition so these two are the most important dentition but in between the age group of 6 years to the 12 years there is the presence of both type of dentition means the deciduous tooth will be present as well as the permanent tooth will be present so it is known as known as the mixed type of dentition that is the mixed type of dentition so if you will see this primary dentition it is also known as the milk teeth dentition or the deciduous teeth dentition deciduous teeth type of dentition or the milk teeth type of dentition similarly this secondary dentition is also known as the permanent dentition known as the permanent dentition and this mixed type of dentition is known as the transition type of dentition or we can say that it is the transition period as there is the change of the maxillary uh, sorry there is change of the primary tooth towards to the secondary tooth means the primary tooth gets replaced by the secondary tooth so if we will see primary dentition in primary dentition total there are 20 teeth total there are 20th teeth 
20 teeth are present and in the secondary dentition there are 32 teeth. If you will see the time period for this primary dentition then the formation starts at the 14th week of the intrauterine life that is prenatally 14th week of intrauterine life and it it is present in the human beings or in a child up to 6 years and after 6 years it gets replaced by the secondary dentition. The formation will start from the 6 years. Similarly, the, this period is known as the transition period as from 6 years to the 12th year, 12 years of age group there will be the presence of both type of teeth means the primary teeth will be present as well as the secondary teeth will be present. But after 12 years, after 12 years there will be only the presence of the secondary teeth or the permanent teeth. So from 12 years to 18 years it is the period for the secondary dentition and it continues and there is an exception in this secondary dentition that is the third molar third molar it is the exception why this is a uh, exception because this era emerges or erupts in between the s group of 18 to 25 and sometimes it is also not present in our human beings so sometimes this third molar are also present so if you will see the formation of dentition these are divided into three parts primary dentition, mixed type of dentition and the secondary dentition. This primary dentition is also known as the deciduous teeth or the milk teeth. These are 20 in number and prenatally its formation starts from the 14th week of the intrauterine life and it, it is present in the human being or in a child up to 6 years. Similarly, if you will see the secondary dentition, it is also known as the permanent dentition or permanent teeth are present. There, these are 32 in number and it starts from 12 years and it will complete at 18 year. But there is an exception that is the third molar. Third molar is the exception. Why it is exception? Because it is, it, it is formed after the age of 18 and up to 25 age group. Means in between 18 to 25 there is the formation of the third molar. Similarly, if you will see the mixed type of dentition, it is the transition period. Means the primary teeth gets replaced by the secondary teeth. So, its period is from the 6 years to 12 years. Now, we will be seeing two most important anatomical terms that is the mandibular and maxillary. So, mandibular it is the term which refers to the upper lower jaw and the maxillary is the upper jaw. So, the mandibular refers to the lower jaw and the maxillary refers to the upper jaw. So, this is mandibular region and the maxillary region. Mandibular region is related to the lower jaw and the maxillary region is related to the upper jaw. So, now basically we will be reading about the dental formula. So, first let us know what do you mean by dental formula. So, it is the arrangement of tooth. It is the arrangement of tooth. So, arrangement of the tooth in each half of the in each half of the upper jaw and the lower jaw. So, it means that the how the tooth are arrangement the formula is given to the primary dentition and to the secondary dentition according to the arrangement of the tooth present in each half of the upper jaw and each half of the lower jaw. So, basically in primary dentition we say that in, in the upper arch and in the lower arch total there are 20th teeth, 20 teeth are present. And in the secondary dentition, if you will see in both upper jaw and in the lower jaw, there are 32 teeth. There are 32 teeth are present. 
upper jaw if you will see, uh, in primary dentition if you will see there are 28th teeth 10 in the upper jaw and 10 in the lower jaw similarly in secondary dentition if you will see 16 teeth are present in the upper jaw and 16 teeth are present in the lower jaw. Now, in each quadrant, so if we will divide our mouth into quadrant, then in suppose this is the upper jaw, this is the lower jaw. For, for example, in the primary dentition, we will see. So, in upper jaw, there are 10 teeth and in the lower jaw, there is also the 10 teeth are present. So, in each quadrant, there will be 5, 5, 5 teeth will be present. Similarly, in secondary dentition, if you will divide, then here we will be seeing that 32 teeth are there. So, total 16 in the upper jaw, 16 in the lower jaw, it means 8 in each quadrant will be present. So, for primary dentition, the formula will be incisor, canine, premolar, molar, sorry, 2 by 2, 1 by 1, 0 by 0, 2 by 2. So, total there will be 4 incisors, 2 canine, so 4 plus 2 is 6 and 4 molars that is 4 that is 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So, total there are 10 teeth are present in the upper jaw. So, in the lower jaw also 10 tooth are present. So, total there are 28 teeth. Similarly, in secondary dentition, if you will see, the formula will be incisor, canine, premolar, molar, 2 by 2, 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3. Here in incisor total, in the one arch, there will be 4 incisors, 2 canine, 4 premolars and 6 molars. So, if you will count, then it is 4 plus 2, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 6, 16 in the upper jaw, 16 in the lower jaw. Hence, there are total 32 teeth in the secondary dentition. And here we can see one thing that in primary dentition, the premolars are totally absent and third molar is also absent in the primary dentition. Similarly, in the secondary dentition, if we will see, then there are four premolars in each upper jaw and lower jaw and there are six molars including the third molar in the upper jaw and in the lower jaw.